Just under seven days, these 15 Kenyatta University students thought, sketched, and built a medical oxygen ventilator. The students anticipated that if the trend of rising COVID-19 cases continue to rise, Kenya's medical capacity will soon be overwhelmed. So 15 of them from various fields left home and met at the Chandaria Innovation Center, and this ventilator was born. We have been learning, we have been in school, and we can come up with an idea that it will help our country. We have a team of electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, biomedical engineers, uh, doctors, uh, students, and nursing. So we decided we have the team, we have the capacity, let us start being on this. These young innovators say their ventilator as it is now can support life even at the level of intensive care. This project we actually designed it when we were at home, the university had already closed so we sat down and uh, we thought we had all the skills that we needed to, to make a ventilator so we did the design. Then uh, we presented it to uh, the, university, the university which gave us full support. So that's how we came, it, we came up with it. They have added several computer gadgets and monitors to control the air pressure, quantity and frequency based on a doctor's specific recommendations for a patient. We're also doing a lot of testing. So and all the testing that we've been doing, uh, we've been getting positive feedback. Cabinet Secretary for Industrialization, Betty Miner, flanked by a host of government officials, visited the students to inspect the prototype and were clearly impressed by what they saw. The doctors uh, in the room today have confirmed that this ventilator can work and they have no hesitation in recommending it and uh, deploying it uh, in hospitals once all the certification uh, is in place. According to Kenyatta University Vice Chancellor Professor Paul Wainaina, the university has the capacity to produce the ventilators in mass once given a go ahead. We need at least 500,000 for per one. And since the prototype is working, production is going to take a very short time. So in a week when we start, we can produce 50 of these uh, uh, ventilators. These are not the only Kenyans who are making an effort to produce ventilators locally. Earlier this week, three other Kenyans unveiled their homemade ventilator that uses a car battery. A different group of two young Kenyans had days earlier displayed their own prototype with hopes of getting clearance for mass production. The fear that Kenya might not have enough ventilators to meet the demand needed by COVID patients may soon be dispelled. If these ventilators developed by Kenyatta University students is put to work, Dennis Matarake, 24, from Kenyatta University, Nairobi.